What's up YouTube? Watch on for an unboxing and video review of two new cases from Notice, a company based out of the UK. These two cases are the Notice Access 2 and the Notice Shell 2 case. Both are available for the iPhone 6, 6S, and Plus series of phones. I'll be taking a look at them with an iPhone 6S Plus. I'll also compare it to my official Apple leather case, which I've been using until I got these two. So let's speed through the unboxing process. The bottom line here is that both cases come in identical packaging, and I appreciate how stiff the box is and how it's difficult to open it, kind of like unboxing an iPhone. I chose the saffron yellow color, which is a very cool yellowish brown. These cases are also available in a darker brown and black. The case on the left is the Shell 2 case, which is a typical phone style case. The one on the right is the Access 2 case, which offers a folding cover and the ability to prop the screen up. And what are those 3M things stuck to the case? They're actually magnets. Notice calls this their micro dock. You peel off a sticky part of the magnet, stick it someplace, and then you can magnetically attach your iPhone anywhere you place one. In my testing, the magnets were quite strong. They definitely held my phone up, and even with vigorous shaking, they wouldn't detach. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I absolutely love the look of these cases. Notice only uses authentic vegetable tanned Italian leather for their cases, and they not only look better than the Apple leather cases, they feel better. Here we have the two Notice cases side by side with my official Apple brown leather case. Putting them side by side, you can see that the Notice Shell 2 case is ever so slightly thicker than the Apple leather case. And at the top of the case, you can see that the Notice Shell 2 case has a slight cutout. It's also worth noting that the Notice Access 2 case has a softer inside where the Apple case does not. In terms of sturdiness, I decided to give both cases a twist test. Notice how much less twist there is in the Notice case than there is in the Apple case, giving the phone more protection. Here's something interesting, scratch test. I noticed scratches developing on my Apple leather case over time. I tried to deliberately scratch it again. That worked. Then I tried to deliberately scratch my notice case. That didn't work. This is definitely a higher quality product. To put the phone in the Access 2 case, you peel off the micro suction cover, align the phone, and stick it on. You'll want to make sure the camera lens is fully visible from the cutout on the back. The iPhone looks great in the Access 2 case. The case is a bit larger than the phone, so the edges are protected on all sides. I was curious how well the micro suction will hold the iPhone in place. It turns out pretty well. When you want to remove the phone, just peel it off. No residue is left on the back of the iPhone. When using your phone as a camera, it may take a bit of getting used to a folio style case like the Access 2 but after practicing a little bit, I was at home in no time. On the flip side, having a kickstand built directly into the case is awesome for watching movies. The Access 2 also has a slot where you can slide in a couple cards. Going back to the Shell 2 case, the phone fits in pretty much exactly how you would expect it to snap. The fit is snug and the phone looks great in there. The bottom line is that these two cases are slick. The quality of leather is clearly higher than that of Apple's own cases. And whether you choose the standard Shell 2 case or the Access 2 case, they both offer the magnetic micro dock system. I really recommend both of them. Your phone will look better and it will be better protected. Enjoy! Check out more of my videos.